What's up, everybody? Thank you so much for tuning back into another episode of Freedom Talks on Friday. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about what you can expect if you're moving in with a parent. Now, just a little backstory. I had to move back in with, with a parent about a year and a half ago. And I, it's because I lost a job. And then right when I was ready, about ready to get to move out, I lost another job. So then I had to stay put for longer. And I was like, okay, great. Okay, this is fine. It is what it is. So this is for anybody who is living with a parent, is about to have to or moved out or just whatever. Um, this is just some things that you can probably expect or at least some things that I experienced. Now I'll say I am in my mid thirties. It doesn't matter what age you are. You're probably still going to feel like, oh, I have to move back in. You know, I'd rather have my independence and my own space. I get it. 130%. I get it. Uh, but it is what it is. Sometimes you have to stay, take that step back or take that sideways step to move forward. So just hang on if you guys are there. Just hang on. So the first thing that I really uh, kind of realized is basically when you're on your own and you don't have to answer to anybody about anything you do, well, you can just throw that out the window whenever you move back with the parenteal because if you're out late, you know, 10, 11 o'clock and you, you know that your parent is home and you're living in their house and they're probably home ex expecting you. Hmm, where's my kid at? Um, it's already 10 o'clock. Well, be ready for a phone call probably, you know, when are you coming home? Are you coming home? What time are you coming home? Do I need to leave the dinner out? They're gonna be inquisitive because it's their house and they wanna know what's going on, who's coming in, who's coming out, and you know, basically it's their space. Just think about it. When you are in your own space, if somebody was in there living with you, wouldn't you wanna kinda of know what's what's going on with them, you know, as far as coming in and out of late hours? And plus, your parents typically always worry about you, no matter what age. So if it's midnight and you haven't returned, they are probably going to be calling you or texting. Uh, I'm worried, are you on the side of the road dead? You know, they're gonna wanna know. So if you're not used to answering to anybody and you move back in with a parent, well, get ready. If your parent does not have a big old mansion to move into, um, and it's just a small place, be prepared to downsize. I was living in an RV before my I moved in here. So I, I happen to like the downsize lifestyle. Um, so when I moved in and all I had was this room, I was okay with that. But some people, you know, they're used to having their own house. You know, just think if they had to lose their house or something happens and they needed to come to their parents' house and be confined to a room with all of their stuff, well, it's not going to fit. I mean, you're just going to be forced to you know, maybe have a room and a bathroom and that's it. So be prepared to get rid of every, uh, get rid of a lot of things or find a storage unit or ask mom if you can borrow half of the garage to store your stuff. Cause that might be problematic to somebody who, you know, needs and requires lots of room. Also, if you move back in with a parent and both of you guys love watching television or love watching Netflix and there's only one TV in the house and you guys happen to clash on your cinema interests, that might become difficult. Um, I don't particularly like to watch TV, but I just realized this, that if you two are both like really involved in television and y'all's both of y'all's free time to watch TV is the same time. Well, be prepared to you know, have some arguments. Somebody wants to watch the news. Somebody wants to watch, I don't know, the Wheel of Fortune. Or, you know, there might be some fighting. Might, it, your, your dad might say, well, this is my house and this is the time I watch the news. And you might say, well, dad, you know, this is Wheel of Fortune. This is, this keeps me and my brain on my toes. I have to watch Wheel of Fortune. That might cause some petty arguments, but you're used to being out on your own and forming your daily habits and how you live your life and now you are kind of being thrown into a parent's house where they have their own daily habits and daily lives and 
y'all just have to try to figure it out and you know work with each other's schedules and just try to get along i know it can butt heads sometimes um it is what it is and that leads me to my last thing when you are moving back in with a parent because sometimes you know children and parent they are so different um and sometimes they are so alike that it can create chaos it can create arguments and you know sometimes people that are exactly alike they don't get along and, and the same with people that are exactly opposite so if you ever come to the part where you're just becoming so frustrated and you just like it is important to take some time away from your parents house to take some deep breaths and just remember why you had to move in remember that it's only temporary remember that you're only there to get back on your feet remember that it's okay to feel you know these kind of feelings that you know you probably haven't felt since you were a teenager since you were home so just it's important to take yourself out of the situations at times to regather um, regroup and calm down because after all they are your parents they're allowing you to come back and live with them for temporarily because you know some of these parents are probably like oh god we got to take the kid back in again because of whatever reason um so imagine they're probably getting frustrated as well so but just remember that they're your parents and they're letting you stay there because they care and at the end of the day you know be thankful you have a place to go thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it hope you're having a great week i'll see you next weekend guys take care